Morning Prayer on Thursday O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Psalm 67 God, be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Part of Psalm 78 beginning at verse 17. We're joining this psalm as the psalmist is recounting the relationship between God's people and the Almighty. Verse 17. Yet for all this they sinned more against him and defied the Most High in the wilderness They tested God in their hearts and demanded food for their craving. They spoke against God and said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? He struck the rock indeed so that the waters gushed out and the streams overflowed, but can he give bread or provide meat for his people? When the Lord heard this, he was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob and his anger went out against Israel. For they had no faith in God, and put no trust in his saving help. So he commanded the clouds above, and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down upon them manna to eat, and gave them the grain of heaven. So mortals ate the bread of angels. He sent them food in plenty. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and let out the south wind by his might. He rained flesh upon them as thick as dust, and winged fowl like the sand of the sea. He let it fall in the midst of their camp and round about their tents. So they ate and were well filled, for he gave them what they desired. But they did not stop their craving. Their food was still in their mouths. When the anger of God rose against them and slew their strongest men, and felled the flower of Israel. But for all this, they sinned yet more, and put no faith in his wonderful works. So he brought their their days to an end like a breath, and their years in sudden terror. Whenever he slew them, they would seek him, they would repent and earnestly search for God. They remembered that God was their rock, and the most high God, their Redeemer. Yet they did but flatter him with their mouth, and dissembled with their tongue. Their heart was not steadfast towards him, neither were they faithful to his covenant. But he was so merciful that he forgave their misdeeds and did not destroy them. Many a time he turned back his wrath and did not suffer his whole displeasure to be roused. 
for he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes by and does not return. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The reading from the Gospel for today is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 14 and verses 43 to 52. Jesus is with his followers in the Garden of Gethsemane. Immediately, while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I was a bandit? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of them deserted him and fled. A certain young man was following him, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. They caught hold of him, but he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. As we pause, let's imagine that situation that we've just read about. respond to the scripture in the words of the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. So let us pray. Let's remember before God 
prisoners of conscience, and political prisoners, those who are imprisoned because of faith. Lord, we remember all who are imprisoned unjustly in dark places of agony and isolation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for all who have the courage and honestly to work openly for justice and peace in this world. We pray for them that they would get all the support that they need. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for those who make laws and interpret them and administer them. Please, Lord, would you help them to have wisdom, to have boldness to do what is right and to always act with integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Special prayer for today. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life. To serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.